Hello, Megan is my partner at Magnetic Capital. She'll be walking us through Magnetic's framework for how we view and find investment opportunities in crypto. So Megan, share a little bit about what Magnetic does. Magnetic's focus since 2012 has been purely crypto and distributed ledger technology. We've watched the market evolve, the changes in technology, the experimentation, the tax, the regulatory, and the market changes. Our background as investors, company builders, and merchants using blockchain technology gives us insight that few investors come by in this asset class. Our investment approach is experience-based and research-driven. So what is special about crypto that makes it a compelling investment opportunity? The fact that it is not yet a mature asset class. You can see this from the relatively small market cap of crypto compared to other asset classes. You also see this in the small user base. And we are still at a very early stage of enterprise adoption. And yet, whether you look at the past 10 years, the past five years, or even the past three years, crypto as an asset class has generated the highest return of all major asset classes globally. So Megan, is it too late to invest? No, the crypto market opportunities are indicators for why we believe these are still the early days of crypto. In the last decade, the crypto market achieved a return of 90,000 times. Today, more developers, companies, and governments are building blockchain solutions than ever before. Over the next half a decade alone, we could easily see a 5x market growth. So no, you're not late to the game because you didn't buy Bitcoin at $100. Are there specific opportunities you're looking at? Yes, of course. Since the crypto market is in its nascent stages, we take a long-term investment horizon approach. And in that approach, we look at five main themes that are real-world use cases for blockchain. In the top five best use cases, there are several sectors that we look at, such as payments, cross-border settlement, decentralized finance, stable coins, cloud wallets, tokenized real-world assets, data collection and transfer, and gaming. How do you invest in these use cases? To invest in these use cases, we look at the optimal way to participate in any one of these global opportunities that I've laid out, which is influenced by the blockchain technology value creation stack. We clearly do not use a simple heuristic approach. For instance, as an investment approach, we would not just invest in Bitcoin and other top 10 protocol networks based on historical value. Most managers have used this investment methodology. It worked a few years ago, but it won't be a successful strategy going forward. This is because the focus is now on practical business applications. So Megan, thank you for coming here today and sharing your insights about investing in crypto. It's my pleasure. Thank you, William. And thank you for watching.